Turning now to Wall Street and a key economic indicator just released this morning. The producer price index shows final demand prices increased 0.4% in September. That's double what was expected. News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan breaking down what these latest numbers mean for you and me at home. So what can we expect to learn from this latest data, Lydia? The big picture here is that inflation is decelerating, but just not as quickly as we would like to see. Now, the, the PPI, the producer price index, is basically an indication of what manufacturers and wholesalers are getting. I mean, it's, it's interesting, you know, a few years ago, I don't think anyone even knew what the PPI was, and now it's the data point of the day that everyone is laser focused on. Now, we were expecting to see uh, a decrease from last month. Last month, the PPI was 8.7%. We were hoping to see 8.4%, and instead we got 8.5%, which was a bit higher. Nowhere near that high watermark we saw earlier this year in March of 11.7% year over year, but still a very historically high uh, number. So the reason we are caring so much about this PPI, which maybe we hadn't even heard of a few weeks ago, is that it's basically an indication and a clue as to what the Federal Reserve is going to be doing. And the big picture here is that everyone is alarmed the Federal Reserve is going to continue to hike rates at a very high pace to address inflation. So anytime this number comes in hotter than expected, it kind of sets off alarm bells in the economy. Um, now, this is the biggest data point of the day, but the biggest data point of the week is that CPI, the Consumer Price Index, and that is what we are going to be paying close attention to tomorrow. Now, stocks are pretty flat because this is somewhat in line with what we expected to see. Um, but again, I think everyone's just holding their breath until tomorrow when we get that CPI. Right. And as people are thinking about plans of a possible recession, um, even as soon as six months out. Lydia, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.